What should you do when someone refuses first aid? 1. Drive the person to the hospital. 2. Help the person anyway. 3. Call EMS slash 9 1 1. 4. Leave the person alone. Answer Call EMS slash 9 1 1. What is your role as a first aider? 1. Accessing help. 2. Protecting yourself and others. 3. Acting according to your skills and training. 4. All of the above. Answer, all of the above. Which of the following can cause a person to have blood in his or her saliva or vomit? 1. Cardiovascular disease. 2. Heart attack. 3. Stroke. 4. Life-threatening internal bleeding. Answer, life-threatening internal bleeding. What should you do if a person has a severe or increasing headache after a concussion? 1. Advise the person to monitor his or her condition for 24 hours and follow up with a qualified health care provider if there is any change. 2. Suggest that the person take a pain-reducing medication such as acetyl salicylic. 3. Encourage the person to follow up with a qualified health care provider. 4. Call EMS slash 9-1-1. Answer, call EMS slash 9-1-1. Which of the following should prevent you from shocking a person with an AED? 1. The person is lying in the snow. 2. The person is pregnant. 3. Someone is touching the person. 4. The person's airway is blocked. Answer, someone is touching the person. If a shocking person becomes unresponsive, what is the first thing you should do? 1. Ensure that EMS slash 9-1-1 has been called. 2. Start back blows. 3. Start chest thrusts. 4. Start abdominal thrusts. Answer. Ensure that EMS slash 9-1-1 has been called. Which of the following statements about shock is true? 1. It can be life-threatening. 2. It always occurs when a person has a sudden illness. 3. It usually goes away on its own if the person rests quietly. 4. It is usually a sign that the person's body is healing. Answer, it can be life-threatening. Which of the following is a recommended way of checking whether a person is responsive? 1. Pinching the person's ear. 2. Tapping the person's shoulder. 3. Nudging the person with your foot. 4. Patting the person's stomach. Answer, tapping the person's shoulder. Which of the following is a sign of heat stroke? 1. Dry skin. 2. Loss of bladder control. 3. Calm, passive behavior. 4. Excessive sweating. Answer, dry skin. Which of the following situation requires you to call EMS slash 9-1-1 for an asthma attack? 1. The person is under the age of 10. 2. The attack was triggered by something in the environment. 3. 
the person does not improve after taking his or her medication. 4. The person does not have his or her long-term control medication available. Answer, the person does not improve after taking his or her medication. Which of the following should you do if you are alone and choking? 1. Call EMS-9-1-1 and perform abdominal thrusts on yourself by pulling your fist firmly into your stomach just above your belly button. 2. Call EMS-9-1-1, move to a place where you can be noticed, and perform abdominal thrusts against a safe object. 3. Call EMS-9-1-1 and perform chest blows by striking yourself firmly in the center of your chest. 4. Call EMS-9-1-1 and rest quietly until EMS personnel arrive. Answer, call EMS-9-1-1, move to a place where you can be noticed and perform abdominal thrusts against a safe object. What must you do when helping an ill or injured person? 1. Give care only if the person is responsive. 2. Give only the care you were trained to provide. 3. Give care only if the person is able to communicate. 4. Call EMS-9-1-1 only if the person's condition gets worse while you are providing care. Answer, give only the care you were trained to provide. What does a standard CPR cycle consist of? 1. 15 compressions and 2 breaths. 2. 20 compressions and 2 breaths. 3. 25 compressions and 2 breaths. 4. 30 compressions and 2 breaths. Answer, 30 compressions and 2 breaths. What should you do if a person is delusional? 1. Attempt to show the person that his or her delusions aren't real. 2. Dismiss the person's delusions and talk only about the facts of the situation. 3. Call EMS-9-1-1. 4. Accept that the person's delusions are real to him or her and do not dismiss them. Answer, accept that the person's delusions are real to him or her and do not dismiss them. What should you always do before applying a splint? 1. Check the person's circulation below the site of the injury. 2. Move or remove any clothing from the area that the splint will cover. 3. Confirm that the person has either a fracture or a strain. 4. Remove any padding from the splint. Answer. Check the person's circulation below the site of the injury. Which of the following people should never take medication by mouth? 1. A person who is in shock. 2. A person who is unable to communicate clearly with you. 3. A person who is unresponsive. 4. A person who is having a heart attack. Answer, a person who is unresponsive. What should you do if the dressing on a penetrating chest wound becomes saturated with blood? 1. Apply another dressing on top of the old one. 2. Change the dressing immediately. 3. Remove the dressing immediately. 4. Have the person stand up to move blood away from the chest. Answer. Change the dressing immediately. Which of the fundamental principles are we following when we care for both sides in a conflict? 1. Impartiality. 2. Voluntary service. 3. 
Independence. 4. Unity. Answer, Impartiality. When performing a primary assessment, how should you check the person's circulation? 1. Quickly look at the person from head to toe for signs of life-threatening bleeding. 2. Carefully pat the person from head to toe, checking your gloves for signs of blood as you go. 3. Ensure that the person's heart is beating at a rate of 100 to 120 beats per minute. 4. Ensure that the person's skin is a normal color and temperature. Answer, quickly look at the person from head to toe for signs of life-threatening bleeding. If there is not enough space on a person's chest for two AED pads, what should you do? 1. Place one pad in the center of the person's chest. 2. Continue CPR without using an AED. 3. Place one pad on the person's chest and one on the person's back. 4. Overlap the pad slightly, up to one inch of overlap is acceptable. Answer, place one pad on the person's chest and one on the person's back. Which type of poison often causes abdominal cramps, vomiting, and slash or diarrhea? 1. Swallowed. 2. Inhaled. 3. Absorbed. 4. Injected. Answer, swallowed. After repositioning the head, rescue breath still do not go in, what do you do? 1. Call EMS-9-1-1. 2. Do 30 chest compressions and then look into the person's mouth. 3. Begin the care for complete choking, starting with abdominal thrusts. 4. Resume CPR, but do not attempt to give rescue breaths until the person's airway clears itself. Answer, do 30 chest compressions and then look into the person's mouth. Which of the following should you do before providing care to a choking person in a wheelchair? 1. Use hand sanitizer. 2. Ask whether the person is able to stand for short periods. 3. Buckle the person's seat belt. 4. Lock the chair's wheels. Answer, lock the chair's wheels. Which of the following should make you suspect that a person is having a stroke? 1. Nausea or vomiting. 2. Pain radiating from the chest to the shoulder, s, jaw, and slash or neck. 3. Difficulty speaking or understanding others. 4. Soft tissues that are tender, swollen, or hard. Answer, difficulty speaking or understanding others. When should you attempt to remove an impaled object? 1. Only when EMS personnel are on their way. 2. Only when you have confirmed that the person's ABCs are not affected. 3. Only when the object stops you from caring for a life-threatening condition. 4. Only when the object is impaled in the person's arm or leg. Answer, only when the object stops you from caring for a life-threatening condition. When would you flush a person's eye with running water for at least 15 minutes? 1. When the person's eye has been flash burned. 2. When a small object is impaled in or around the person's eye. 3. When the person's eye is out of its socket. 4. When the person's eye has been exposed to a harmful chemical. Answer, 
when the person's eye has been exposed to a harmful chemical. If an adult is unresponsive and not breathing, which of the following should you do first? 1. Begin CPR, starting with chest compressions. 2. Begin CPR, starting with rescue breaths. 3. Place a barrier device over the person's mouth and nose. 4. Call EMS-9-1-1 and get an AED. Answer, call EMS-9-1-1 and get an AED. What must be completed every time you see a worker for a work-related injury? 1. Form 6. 2. Form 7. 3. First aid record. 4. Patient assessment chart. Answer, first aid record. What document outlines a designated first aid attendant's responsibility? 1. The Workers' Compensation Act. 2. The Occupational Health and Safety Regulation. 3. The Emergency Health Services Act. 4. The Good Samaritan Act. Answer, the Occupational Health and Safety Regulation. For information on all poisons and dangerous substances used at their work site the best source is the 1. Occupational First Aid Reference and Training Manual 2. Provincial Ambulance Service 3. Safety Data Sheets 4. Workers' Compensation Board Answer, Safety Data Sheets